Why is he water, shut why the vehicle is he getting pulled over? Sir, I'm not speaking with you. Just stop why don't you just be quiet? Stop, stop arguing with the cop. You ever been in trouble before? No, I haven't. Okay, step up for me. Why, Wait, why, why is he? Why, is he being detained or arrested? You're no. being detained right now. I believe you Wait, have a warrant for your arrest. Detained. Step out of the vehicle. Please. Why? Why? Step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle. Wait, yo. Hey. Oh, what the hell? Yo, 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 yo. I'm gonna film this. Step back. All right. Do not come near me. Why would you get out of the car, bro? Stay right there. Wait, what kind of what? Why is he being arrested? I'll talk to you one second about it. My dad's gonna freak out. Nate, should we call your mom? You get anything in the vehicle I need to know about, sir? Uh, no, I don't. Back up, back up. Back up. Bro, drive my car to my mom's house or something. Dude, or drive it to my parents' house. Where are your keys, bro? I have your keys. Wait, you have a warrant, though? I don't understand what his warrant is for. What's his warrant for? Stay right there, don't move. Nick, hey, why? Are you... Dude. I have no idea, bro. Sir, you can film all you want, but I'm not obligated to answer your questions. You need to give me my personal space. You understand? Sorry about that. Don't mind him. Hey, bro, do you really have a warrant, though? I have no idea, bro. I, 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 am, I, am I going go to go to jail? What's, what's going to happen? I'm going to verify your warrant. How long what back warrant are you guys talking about? I don't, I don't know what warrant it is. Why right would here. I have a warrant? Have a seat right here. How long is he going to be in jail for? Who's going to bomb you? me back? Cross your ankles in front of you. Who's going to bomb me back, though, bro? Bro, can you just... Is there any way we can deal this right okay. now, like, on the spot? Did you get nothing in the vehicle I need to know about? No, I don't. I don't. Wait, okay. hey, he doesn't give you... Do you say you don't want him to search your car? Yes. Hey. Wait, wait, hey, hey. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, no. all right, all right. Okay, all right. Sit down. Okay. Touch him again, and you're going in cuffs as well, you understand? You maybe think you know your rights and everything. You're under arrest. I don't need your consent to search the vehicle. You're under arrest, you understand that? Okay. So I don't need your consent, so I'm gonna search it. Yo, why is his car being searched? I don't get it. Because he's under arrest. All right, whatever. Bro, please stop following me. What's this? I have no idea what that is. What's in your I have vehicle? No idea what that is. I, that's not mine. I, I can swear to you, that's not mine. Do you I use promise. drugs? When's the last time you used drugs? Never. I don't do drugs ever. Are these drugs belong to anybody else here? It. If it's not I'm yours, not it must be someone else's, right? Bro, I have no idea. So you're gonna take the ride for it? You're gonna take the ride for it? Bro, I try to get up. Bro, I have no idea who that is, bro. You're okay. holding my neck. Okay. I can barely yeah, breathe. Yeah, because you just tried to get up on me. Yeah, why would you choke me? Though? Stand the f up. Get in the back of my car. What do you mean? Stand up. Stand up. Nick, bro, I'm not gonna get in your car, bro. Bro, I'm not. Bro, I didn't do anything. That's not even my drugs, bro. Ow, ow, my, oh my freaking wrist. Okay, well, it's gonna get worse. Bro, I'm not gonna go in, bro. Bro, I'm not gonna go in. Bro, you can't take him away, bro. Sit in the car. Excuse me, sit in the car. Sit in the car. This is ow! This is bullshit. Well, don't resist bullshit, next time. It won't hurt. This is bullshit. I'll call your mom. I told about this. Bro, you guys, are you filming for that cop? Hey, can you open the door for me? Can you open the door for me? Just open the door for me. Yo! Yo, open the door, bro! <laughs> Yo! This is bullshit. My parents are gonna flip the hell out. My parents are gonna lose their shit. Bro, why are these handcuffs so tight? I'm coming, dude. Come on, bro. Get up, bro. There you go. Dude, get out, run, Nick. What do you mean? Run, that, nah, that. Stay in the car, sir. Ow! Stay in the car. Stay in the car. Dude, you're 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 done as well, sir. Get the car. Yeah, you're done. You're done. Ow. You're done. Ow. You're done. Ow. Dude, why would you tackle him like that, bro? Stay in the fucking car, I will take you. Stay in the car, I will take you. Stay in the car. I didn't do anything, bro. I didn't do shit, bro. He has a taser. Stay in the car. Bro, stay in the car. 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 Stay in the Bro, we didn't do anything wrong. Are you fucking wrong. dense, bro? I, I, I know fucking my right. Fucking try to get out of my car and see what happens. Bro, I know my right. That's bullshit, bro. I didn't do shit, bro. You have no idea what you're talking about, bro. You didn't read your computers right or something, bro. You're out of your freaking mind. You're absolutely out of your mind, bro. Hey, bro, why is there drugs in your car, bro? Bro, that's not mine, bro. You know me. We've been friends for two years. Have you ever seen me do drugs? Bro, Christian, just get the fuck out of my face, bro. Bro, why are bro, you why doing this, Christian bro? Just tell him the truth. I'm I didn't do nothing, bro. Bro, bro. the drugs are in your car. Bro, you know I don't do drugs, bro. You know for a okay, fact that... Who else drives your car? Bro, it's not who else drives your car, bro. This car, this cop's like a weirdo, bro. Bro, bro real quick, how long have you been friends for? Two years? Have you ever know, seen bro. me do drugs, you stupid ass? No. Hey, that's not 
Did I tell you to shut the fuck up or did I tell you to shut the okay, fuck up? Okay, bro, I'm talking you to him. You want to get tased? Ah! You want to get tased, bro? Okay, no, I don't. I don't. You want to ah! get tased, bro? Oh, oh, you want to get tased, bro? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck, bro? Oh, you want to get tased? Shut the fuck Yo. away, bro. Why Yo. would you do that? Why would you? I'm not doing shit. Stop moving. I'm not doing anything, bro. You don't want to know why? Bro, all right. You want to know why you're going to get tased? You want to know why you're going to get tased? Why? Because it's a fucking prank, bro. Are you kidding me? It's a prank, bro. What the fuck, bro? Bro, that's bull, bro. Yo, are you you kidding me, bro? Bro, I was legit freaking out, yes. bro. I'm like, I'm going to jail for like three years or some <laughs> Yo, it's scary being arrested, bro. Ow! Okay, if the, the prank is over, you can go a little easier now, bro. Broke my wrist. No, oh, sorry, bro. Look at look what you did to my wrist, bro. Well, you resisted. Are you what shaking? do you expect? My knuckles are white because you tied me so hard, bro. Shaking. What is this, bro? It's just powder. He gave it to me, and I put it in your car. This was a bag of drugs, and then I just put flour in it. So, guys, this is a bag of flour. I want to put it right here. When we get pulled over by this guy inside Nick's car, I want to take it out. Hey, officer. License and registration, please. I don't have my license on me. Okay, get your registration on you. You guys are pieces of Bro, you guys put this powder shit in my car, bro? <laughs> Yo, there's nothing in that car, bro. Bro, he's freaking the f out, huh? I know. Hey, where are the drugs? I put them right there. I got them right here. Okay, so now, Patty is gonna grab the fake drugs and go ask Nick, hey, why are these drugs in your car? Let's go. I don't even know what the f drugs look like. Oh my god, that's probably mine. Right I got yeah, you so good, bro. Thanks for watching, guys. This video is sponsored by edubirdie.com. So if you're going to school, hire the super smart nerds at edubirdie.com to write your papers and your essays for you. It's 100% free, and well, it's actually not free. It, it does cost a little bit, but it's plagiarism free and 100% confidential. Plus, you won't go to jail for using it. So, what's there to lose? Go check them out at edubirdie.com. I'm Petty Mayo. I'll see you next time. <laughs>
We're just about to pull up to our guy's apartment complex. Go in, knock on his door. Hello, it's not the pizza. It's the bounty on us. Pizza, pizza! I've been, I've been thinking like all day, like what should my, what do I say? Who is it? Like, pizza! Or, but then if he didn't order a pizza, he's gonna call it bullshit. Maybe I'm just like, management. management. How's cleaning? How's keeping? You're a Jehovah's Witness. I want to talk to you about God. I'm here to talk about the Bible. Oh, this doesn't look, oh, this looks like uh, a million different options. All right. Do we have an apartment number? Nine. Oh, okay. Is it these ones? Um, you there's know no place, there's a place I need to, to look at the GPS in order to All right, tell you. There's, there's a place to park down there. I gotta pee. What's the chance yeah. after, after we get him into custody, he'll let us use his bathroom? <laughs> like, not. Let, hopefully he's a smoker, because then we can bribe him. Like, um, can we use your bathroom and you can have a cigarette? These right here? What's the, what's the, let me see the address. I'm gonna buy it. I don't have the number that would pop down. I think it's gonna be that one on the left. It's either there's two or well, the street complex. The whole street is complexes. The street sucks. One one. That's zero. That's three. Zero three four. Is it this one right here? What's this right here? Is it on the other side? That's that's gotta be the wrong number. Yeah. Go. Uh, it's the first white building on the left. So it's that one right there. Hi. Good evening. My name is Patrick. Okay. And do, do you want us to call when we're clear? Yes. Okay, we'll do. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, so we're all set. PD's clear. Time to vest up. LA squad, LA squad 147, you traffic. Squad 147, your location is now at zero and seven. Is it this? 147, up. the lights are on inside. His TV's on. You saw him? Mm -hmm. Alright, head back in. Let's we'll see if we can call him. Hopefully he didn't. Did he see you? Did he look at you?
All right, so my plan is gonna be, if he saw you, we can't call and say that we're security or anything, or that we're like maintenance. Over here. We'll just say, hey, you missed court. We need you to, uh, we need to resign, we need to resign you. Do you have his number? I'm gonna take him off. All right, excuse me, I'm gonna, do. I'm gonna call him and tell him that he missed court, but we got the judge to extend his date. I just need to get him to sign new paperwork. Hi, Mark. Yes. Hi, this is Patrick with <laughs> Bill Buns. How you doing? Great. Hey, I just tried to come to your house. Um, you missed your court date last week, but we got the judge to to extend and give you a new date. Um, what was the, I, I would try to get a hold of you too? What was the reason that you missed? Um, I just I forgot about it. Okay, so did you just just slipped your mind? Yeah. Not a yeah. problem. We are so we automatically put in an extension for you, and the extension request was approved. Um, but I need you to sign this paperwork tonight that says you're going to show up to the new court date. Um, so could you meet me um, by your front door here so I can help you sign this? Um, yeah, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, all right, thanks. All right, that works. Easy enough for me. You better not be f***ing playing me. Hey, Mark. Hey. hey, what's going on? How you doing? Come over here. Come over here. Don't resist. Listen. Put your hands behind your back. On the ground. On the ground. On the ground. On your face. On your face. On your face. There you go. Buddy. On your face. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Thank you. Kaylee, give me, throw me your cuffs. Thank you. You got anything on you? No. Okay. You told me you missed your court date. You know you missed. All right? So the judge issued a bench warrant for your arrest. So you have to go back down to jail. You'll be able to get bonded back out, but you have to go back down tonight, all right? Just hang out for me. Anything on you gonna poke me, stick me, stab me? Still gonna check. Okay, I'm gonna roll in your body, ready? One, two, three. Stand up. All right, up. Lean up against the wall. Lean. Step back. There you go, now lean. Spread your feet. Spread them.
Get, kick off your shoes for me. Actually, no, hold on, hold on. Dig back my car first. Why didn't you show up to court? Oh, I forgot. Okay. When you remembered, how come you didn't call the bail bonds company? All right, kick off your shoes for me. Get over there. Thank you. I don't assume that you're uh, going to come up with anything when you know you're using me. But just got to make sure. You know if you go down to jail with anything, it's a felony when you get down there, right? You're out on bond for... Uh, possession, right? been dodging the bail bondsman but because you cooperated because you didn't resist um, I'll put that on my report and so the bail bonds company will be willing to rebond you all right it's gonna be the same bond as last time do you remember what it was exactly. it's probably about 500 bucks thousand bucks something like that okay do you have access to those funds now No. do you need to get it before you leave do you have someone that you can call and bring it down for you yeah I can get hold somebody. What you doing? what's that I can get a hold of somebody okay all right, they get number in here? Yeah. Okay. I right, have a seat in my truck. Wait for to come down. I appreciate you being cooperative, all right? Where's the, uh, where did they catch you dealing? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, they caught you with, um, with possession of cocaine, right? With a, with a thousand feet of a school? Where was that at? Nothing to say. That's cool. Some practice shots in. All right, hold your fire, boys. Hold your fire. Yeah. Problem with racism? Problem? No, we're awesome at it. We, we crush it regularly. We're the best. If there was a racism Olympics, we wouldn't go. There'd be foreigners. You guys know the rules in Australia, right? You can't be white and make black jokes, and you can't be black. <laughs> That's my favorite one line. <laughs> Do you want me to answer with the, with the question? I think race is a hot topic in comedy at the moment because race is always a hot topic. It's a hot topic to white people <laughs> because it's different. If it hasn't been about the white and black issue, it's been about the Muslims, all the Asians, all the white people. And I think there's a lot of things that comedy can do that's I took this Mexican chick's virginity last night, and like, I don't know if you know this about Mexican women, but when you bust them open, candy falls out. Like, <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before, man. Holy crap.
Like, she maybe wore a blindfold, spun me around a couple of times, and like, I got a Snickers, man. It really satisfied. <laughs> Pack of peanuts, creamy nougat. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I like banging fat chicks. Who's with me, guys? <laughs> Anyone? No? Just me. I love banging fat chicks. I'm a big game hunter, dude. I love nailing fat chicks. <laughs> Love nailing them, dude, because they are easy. Like, I drive around, I got this CD full of ice cream truck jingles, and like, oh, man. Those girls come running, man. Like, really slow, but they get there, you know? So, like, they got cash, they got good humor, it works out, so. I want to apologize. I didn't mean to be so damn great. All right. I want to yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You know what, I might as well do it. I got, um, I've been trying for years to be one of the best black comics in Los Angeles, uh, <laughs> despite my racial handicap. Um, there are dreams that need to be fulfilled, and that's just one of my dreams, to be one of the best black comics in, in the history of black comedy. So, I gotta practice this. I'm gonna be on BET in a couple oh, weeks, so. Yeah. I'm gonna practice this right now. This is what I like to call black jokes. Are you guys ready for some black jokes? Yeah. All right, black jokes, here we go. So you heard the old saying, once you go black, you're a single mother. <laughs> Bowling! <laughs> you like that? You like that? <laughs> I got more black jokes, you want more black jokes? Yeah. All right. Hey, why don't black men take care of their children? <laughs> Cause you can't put rims on them, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh snap! Oh Jiminy! <laughs> I got more. Yeah, I love banging black chicks. A man, do I hate talking to pimps? You know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> Feel my pain. Hey, what do you call a mulatto duck? Half black. <laughs> Half black. <laughs> I went to a black French restaurant called Shay. What? <laughs> Straight next is home furnishing place for pimps called Bed Bath and Biatch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like banging big black women. Like the bigger the black or the better. That's what I love. The bigger the black or the better. That's my type of lady. Like I want to bang that bitch on the pancake box. That's what I want. To do. <laughs> I want like amp vagina, that's what I want, dude. I'll be all over her bis quick, cause I'm a hungry jack. I'm gonna treat her like Mrs. Butterworth and screw her head off. It's gonna get sticky. All over your body. I did comedy because I needed to be funny to do something with all the attention I got. Like, everyone's staring at me, it's like, oh crap. And I gotta provide them with a moment because they're looking at me thinking that something's gonna happen. And come on, man, who doesn't wanna just watch a midget jump around for an hour? That's just fun. <laughs> like, like, people pay a lot of money to do that in Mexico, but they don't tell jokes. Most little people, they do comedy unintentionally. They're not trying to be funny, they just are. Like, uh, they're, they're, they're reaching up to grab something on a high shelf and it's hilarious. This just shows that we can craft jokes and be funny just like anyone else. And, and it shows if you laugh at yourself, if you take whatever your difference is, because we all have something, 
I got dwarfism. You're bald. Uh, okay. The cameraman has a very small penis. I mean, we all have. I mean, we're looking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, That's right. it's dude, right in our view, dude. That's it. Uh, <laughs> but if you're able to embrace whatever that difference is and then have fun with it, that's when it doesn't hurt. That's when it becomes a positive, and you can look at, be at things that are beyond just what's on the surface. And that's what I hope people got tonight. Or just laugh. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Fred Williams! are happy you guys are psyched of course you're happy you know right now your story beats any one of your friends no matter what the hell they're doing tonight <laughs> they'll call you up tomorrow should have hung out with us man we went out to a strip club they had a one-armed stripper she had a cartwheel it was ridiculous <laughs> what kind of lame shit did you do oompa loompa made me laugh fuck off you win okay exactly you're happy but of course you're happy got a little person in front of you right now. People are always happy when they see midgets. You can't help it. A lot of you don't know who I am, don't know what TV shows I've been on, but I walk on stage and like, this is gonna be good. <laughs> you see a midget, you're happy. You can't help it. No one's ever seen a midget and yelled out, well, now my day has gone to hell. That has not happened. You see this, you're smiling, you're laughing. You know it's a good shot. You got a parade and some candy coming your way. You're happy as hell. Doesn't matter. You can get fired from your job, find out your wife is blowing some other dude. You walk down the street, you see me, you're just. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we are not using midgets properly in this country. <laughs> we have normal jobs. We should not have normal jobs. They should be giving midgets to cancer patients. <laughs> How awesome would that be? Sorry, sir, I discovered you have cancer. Damn it, here's your midget. Fuck you! Yeah! A lot of you didn't like that joke at first. <laughs> then I finished it, you're like, we, we will absolutely support that charity. We will support that. We should do a 5K. We should do a 5K. They're dwarves. We should do a two and a half K. We should do a two and a half K. <laughs> and that's true. I do make people happier. I did a show one time, a woman came up to me after the show and said, Brad, you're funny, I run a children's hospital. I would love it if you came down to the children's hospital, entertained the children, brought them some smiles. I said, yes, that's perfect. I mean, hell, you guys have known me now for a few minutes and you know my act is perfect for the fucking kids, all right? <laughs> so I say, I'll do it. I go to the children's hospital. I'm exaggerating nothing. I walk into that door, a kid walks up to me, puts his hand on my shoulder and goes, don't worry, they'll fix you here. <laughs> you're not allowed to karate chop the sick kid, okay? You're not allowed to do that. Why do you do I'm there on my Saturday giving up my free time to help him. He's got to piss on my self-esteem. Again, and it happened over and over again. I was walking on the hospital. There would be all these kids. I mean, God bless them. They'd be walking around, dragging their oxygen tanks behind them like that. Then they would look up and see me and go, Jesus, glad I don't have that. Oh my God, that would suck. But I get it. I understand. I understand why people are excited when they see a little person. I totally get it because when I'm walking around and I see another little person, I get excited too. <laughs> I do. Then you guys see two of us. You get ridiculously excited. <laughs> oh my God, there's two! <laughs> I hope they do a trick. I, I really hope they do a trick. I do, I get excited when I see another little person. I'm not thinking about this constantly. It's not always on my mind. I don't walk around all day in my head, just I'm a midget, I'm a midget, I'm a midget, I'm a midget, I'm a midget. I'm a midget. <laughs> I know, if your life had a DVR, you would have all 30 seconds back right there. I'm a midget, I'm a midget, I'm a midget, I'm a midget.
<laughs> I get it. So, uh, and, and when I'm walking around and I see a little person, I get happy. Now, if the other dwarf I see is a male, if I see a male little person, I get excited. But at the same time, I know I have to fight him. <laughs> I don't know why that is. I don't want to fight him. He doesn't want to fight me, but we lock eyes. We're like, it's go time. I'm like, why? Maybe dwarves are like Highlanders, like there could be only one. I don't know. <laughs> now, if I'm walking around and I see another little person and it happens to be a female, if I see a female little person, I get excited. You guys get quiet. <laughs> you see two little people come together. You're just like, oh my this is like National Geographic Channel come to life. This is like, Shh, don't say anything, you'll scare him. It's his mating season. <laughs> now, you would think that that might offend me. It does not offend me. I'm going to fuck that female little person, okay? <laughs> it's happening. When it comes to dwarf pussy, I am a Dyson vacuum. I don't miss a damn thing. <laughs> it's happening. But Brad, she's a woman. She has a choice. What if she doesn't want to sleep with you? Are you kidding me? I'm in the top five midgets in show business. She's fucking me, okay? <laughs> it's happening. I'm top five. I'm not number one. I don't have delusions of grandeur, okay? I know where I am, all right? Number one, Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones. I love that, too. Yeah, exactly. Great show. Number two is this guy named Wee Man from Jackass. He's pretty cool. Some of you know who he is. Some of you are just now realizing that I am not Wee Man from Jackass. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Number three is a guy named Warwick Davis. He was in a movie called Willow, an HBO show called Life is Short. There you go. Number four, that's me. Uh, I'm number four, it's not bad. And then number five is the chick Damn it, what the hell is the chick's name? No, the dwarf chick. Oh, yeah, Justin Bieber. That is a hot bitch. I want to do bad things to that woman. She is cute. Obviously, that's a joke. Uh, but I said that one night at a comedy club in Hollywood, California. I didn't know this. Bieber was in the audience that night, and he did not like that joke. <laughs> He did not like it. He walked up to me after the show. He's like, you're a son of a bitch, eh? That was not very nice of you to say to me, love that hang out lover. I love that that's a true story. <laughs> I do, because that's the thing, is my jokes are a lot of times true stories. People ask me all the time, Brad, you're a comedian. How do you write your material? I don't. Here's how I write jokes. Step one, be a dwarf. Step two, wait. <laughs> Funny shit's gonna happen to you. I never know when. It's not like I look down like, oh, three o'clock, funny shit's about to happen. No, you know, it's not like that. It just happens randomly. Like, not too long ago, I took my mom out to lunch. Uh, now, before I go on with this joke, uh, just know that my mom is not a little person like me. And my dad, not a dwarf. No. I know, we don't have to all come from the same tribe. Uh, you can't, like, drive down the street and be like, which house do the dwarves live in? It's the mushroom with the door in it. <laughs> so my mom is driving, I'm in the passenger seat, not a booster, fuck off. And I'm the normal chair, like a big boy. And my mom comes behind this guy, now this guy's trying to turn down a one-way street, but he's going the wrong way down the one-way street. And this is causing all sorts of traffic, and people are honking, getting very upset. My mom is right behind him, she is polite. She's a prim and proper Southern Belle from Savannah, Georgia. And she looks at the guy, she goes, uh, excuse me there, sir. I don't believe you can make a left-hand turn at this particular intersection. <laughs> I know you hear that, you want lemonade right now, don't you? Like, that's my mom. And then this guy proceeds to look at my mother and goes, why don't you shut the fuck up? I'm killing you right now, okay? <laughs> I'm killing you. You say that to my mom? That's my mom. I love my mom. She gave birth to me. And just so you know, giving birth to a dwarf is not easy. It's not like you just sneeze and we fly out of there, okay? Like, the doctor isn't sitting there with a the catcher's mitt, like, you know, like that, that doesn't happen. No, it is very hard to give birth to a little person. When I was born, my head was about the same size as it is right now, okay? Do you understand what that means? And my mom never complained. She never once complained. My dad, he complains about it all the time. He tells me, like, you realize that was the first pussy you ever tore up? <laughs> I 
like, yeah, that's my mom. She gave birth to me. I will defend this woman. I will die for this woman. So I get out of the car and I start yelling at this guy, what the hell did you just say? What the hell? Get out here. Get out here, you son of a bitch. Let's go, asshole. And he gets out of the car. I'm like, oh shit, this is actually happening right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> This is going to come as a shock to you people. Uh, I don't know how to fight. <laughs> no such thing as midget UFC, okay? Like, there should be midget UFC. That would be awesome. Like me and Wee Man in a ball pit at Chuck E. Cheese. Like, Let's get it on! You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not. So I don't know how to fight. The only fighting I know is stuff I learned from video games in the 90s. So this guy's charging at me, and as some weird instinct, I just look at him and I go, Hadouken! I, I, I just say Hadouken. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, I will explain. There was a video game in the 90s called Street Fighter 2. Okay, Street Fighter. Yeah. There were two characters in that game. They wouldn't just punch and kick. No, they would yell out Hadouken and they would throw a fireball from their hands. A fireball, because that might be useful in a fight. Eh, punch, kick, fireball. It, it works. And that's what I do. I'm like, I don't know, I just yelled it out. You think I'm crazy, but this shows you how much people don't know about little people. I yelled out, Hadoogan, this guy flinched and then like ran away. <laughs> he ran away. Do you understand what that means? That means that when I yelled out, Hadoogan, this guy thought, well, he is a dwarf. He can probably throw a fireball. <laughs> I'm booking it. At that point, I would give all my money, all of my money, to be there when this guy told his friends this story. <laughs> no, bro, you have no idea what happened to me, man. I yelled at this woman today, she got pissed off, she had a button on her car, an attack midget just like ran out of her car like that. And the attack midget starts throwing fireballs at me. I had to block it and let Dodge do that. I didn't even know they had attack midgets. I have seen every episode of MTV Cribs. You never saw a fitted set like, yo, this is my Mercedes, and it comes with a motherfucking attack midget right there. It never happened. And you would assume that from Mercedes or BMW, sure, but based on what I saw today, let me tell you right now, Kia has stepped their game up. <laughs> and everyday activities can turn into crazy stories at any time. I, I was having lunch not too long ago with my best friend's Adam, and we're at a McDonald's. I know, I've made it in show business. <laughs> and now this particular McDonald's had a, uh, a, a play place attached to it, all right? And me and Adam were just sitting there, we're talking. All of a sudden this kid, I don't know if he thought that I was threatening his hood, or like invading his turf, but he just runs out of the play place. He's got a ball from the ball pit, sees me and just hucks this and <laughs> nails me right in the head. Can't miss this son of a bitch, okay? So I pop up I'm like, what the hell? I see it's a kid. I don't care. I have street credit. I gotta defend myself. I'm going after the kid. I start walking after him. Now Adam, my friend, he's a tall guy, but he essentially works for me. So he's like, all right, I guess we're beating up seven-year-olds today. And he started walking after him. Now this particular play place must have had an incident of some kind because they had a security guard. And he sees Adam coming towards me. He's like, hey, you can't come in here. And he looks at me, he's like, yeah, you can come on in here, yeah, that's cool. I'm not offended, I just got the green light to whoop some ass. So I run into the play place, I look around, I see the kid, but the other kids that are there in the play place, they see me walk in, they start clapping and cheering and getting all happy. I'm like, what the, and then I realize they think I'm a new mascot. Like, there's the Hamburglar and Ronald McDonald, and now there's the McNugget midget, apparently. Like, I'm gonna make it rain, sweet and sour thoughts, you know? And, and now they're clapping, but I see the kid, and he sees me. We lock eyes, and he turns around, and he runs up the slide. Now he's in the tubes, because he thinks he's safe in the tubes. You dumb fuck. You are not safe in those tubes. I am four foot four. I can run in those tubes, okay? I get in the tubes. I'm Super Mario, and he got the star. I'm good. So I run up the tube, I see the kid, I run right up to him, I grab him, I start dragging him out by his little stride right, okay? I'm dragging him out. Yes, I know what stride rights are, I sometimes have to wear them myself, okay? <laughs> Not all the time, sometimes you guys get sexy shoes, you guys got real sexy shoes tonight, these are good. I don't always wear these, sometimes I gotta do shows and I got lights blinking from my shit, not that sexy. Now I'm yelling at the kid, why'd you throw the ball at me, that was not very nice, you don't do that. 
As I'm yelling at him, the kid's dad is running up behind me, pissed off. I don't see the dad. I'm just yelling at the kid. But Adam, my friend, he sees the dad. He does what any good guy friend would do. He goes, let's see what happens here. <laughs> the dad runs up, grabs me by the shoulder hard, whips me around, sees my face and goes, I was not expecting that. <laughs> like, what were you expecting? I think he thought I was a kid. Then when he whipped me around, saw my beard, it was like, I was not expecting that. <laughs> it's like, I'm 30. You shouldn't say that to another man. The only time you should say that is if you're making out with a chick, you pull off her skirt, she's got a dick. I was not expecting that. <laughs> so now the dad's in this weird circumstance. Oh, he looks at me, he looks at his kid, he looks at me, he looks back at his kid, he goes, I can do nothing for you, boy. And he starts walking. I'm, I was the dude who buzzed your base with that gyro this gyro right here you you remember that yeah just to tell you i'm a friend of flame so please don't and i was just checking that area if there was a base there and well there was so yeah i'm happy i didn't get within range of your 40 fucking century turrets those would have just christ all my shit. Yeah. Oh, you want me to put the gear on? No. I like my bush sniper kid. The top disappeared. Top's non existent. Oh, this is why you wear that shit. Jesus Christ. I. Well, I don't have the top, but I accidentally hit control click, but instead of the good one, the so. I was thinking about building a base today. I guess I don't need to since my pants can store everything now. See you later. Helicopter, step out or I'm gonna shoot you. No, 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 kill me. No, no, no.
to hit me. He wanted to hit me, but you can't punch a dwarf. You punch a dwarf, that's a hate crime. <laughs> All right? And, and I got away with it. That's the best part about being a little person. The best part is that you can get away with stuff. 